In this session, we'll learn how to create photo-based materials and then apply them to a format model. On my screen is a small model that represents a brick wall. As you can see, I've already applied a light-colored brick material to all of the sides. Let's say that I'd like to add some graffiti to this face. First, we'll measure it. I'll come up and click the Measure button, and then I'll launch the Measure command. I will then snap to the corner, and if I pull up, we can see this wall is 6.5 feet tall by 13 feet long. Let me press escape to get out of the command. Let me also mention that the graffiti that I'm putting on this wall is in the form of a photograph. Just for a second, we'll jump over to Photoshop and we can see the image that I'll be using. Once again, I'll jump back over to form it. To apply this image to the wall, I'm going to create a new material. I'll do that by clicking the material button here on the right side of the interface. This brings up the materials palette. To create a new material, I'll click the create new material button. In the material editor, I'll give the material a name. I'm going to call this Graffiti. Once the material is named, I'll come up to the Texture property and click the Open button. This allows me to select the image that my material is based on. I'm going to select that same JPEG image we just looked at. When I do, I'll point out that other image formats are also supported. For right now, I'll come down and click Open. And then, very important, notice the horizontal and vertical scale. Currently, these are set to one foot each. I'm going to leave those alone. I'll come down and click OK. Once the material's been created, we'll assign it to that face. I'll do that by right-clicking, then I'll choose Paint with Material, and then I'll click the face. When I'm finished, I'll press Escape. Notice the material is applied in a tiled pattern, and the size of the tiles are one foot by one foot. So we're seeing 13 repeats in the horizontal direction, and six and a half repeats in the vertical. The trick to making this image fit the entire face is to assign the face dimensions within the material editor. Let's do that. I'm going to right-click on the material, and I'll choose Edit Material. I will then assign the horizontal scale to be 13 feet to match the length of the face, and then the vertical scale will make 6.5 feet to match the height. Feel free to experiment with some of these other settings if you'd like. For right now, I'm going to come down and click OK, and you can see the change on screen. By simply repeating this technique, I can define virtually any material or tiled pattern using the images on my hard drive. So when it comes to material selection, you are not limited to the format library. With a handful of images and a little creativity, your sketches can be customized to match most any design. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.